Hi, welcome to another edition of Larry's First Impression Beer Reviews. Today I'm going to crack a beer that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. It is from Bell's, and it's their August uh, 2019 release of their version of a double two-hearted. This has been on my beer bucket list all summer. I've actually called down to the Eccentric Cafe to ask them a couple of times, do you know when you're going to have this on the shelves? Because if it's my day off, boom, I'm going to drive down to Kalamazoo and wait in line for a chance of getting this stuff. Unfortunately, it was a day that I had to work, and um, I took a chance that I might not get my hands on some. Don't really know if it's a limited release, didn't say. But just said that, yeah, we're going to release this in August. And come to find out it was going to be August 26th. Sadly, it was a work day. Um, but it was Wednesday yesterday. And I was lucky enough to snag some of this stuff. Uh, my friend that was looking for it as well struck out. So I got two six-packs. And um, I feel pretty fortunate. Um, I don't know whether or not it's going to be uh, more readily available later on or not. But I'm going to give it a crack and give it a first impression review because I've never had a double two-hearted from Bell's. Big fan of their two-hearted beer as well as most people are that are in the IPAs. Um, most lists for IPAs always includes uh, two-hearted from Bell's. So, um, only really changes in the label is this says double. It's kind of orangish. The cap is um, got the two fish still on it and their little disclaimer in the back of the bottle reads um, everything you love about our classic two hard ale now with a double IPA with two and a half times the amount of centennial hops double two hard has an intense pine citrus notes and resin hop aroma and rich malt character um, 11% APV this was packaged on 8.22, today is 8.29, I believe. So, fresh, 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 double, two-hearted. I cannot wait. So, let's crack this bad boy, and uh, let's get her into a... This is an IPA glass, why not, right? Nice little hiss. Got a little bit of uh, smoke coming off the box. Here's a little closer look at the cap. You see that cap in here? Is this orange? Alright. That smells awesome. It smells awesome. Let's get it in the glass. Bell's too hearted. Double too hearted. Pouring off a delicious golden color. swirl the bottom it's got a nice head got some nice piney citrusy you know it's not really super overpowering it's just got a pleasant pleasant smell makes me happy makes me smile when I'm reading this bad boy okay so um, bells uh, Matra is inspired brewing this definitely is an inspired beer. Um, I don't know where they came up with it, but um, what a great idea. Let's just take our flagship IPA and just raise the bar. Let's make a double. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm already hyping up, but I haven't tasted it yet. So with no further ado, let's, uh, let's see what the uh, flavor profile is. It's a fantastic looking beer though. It's you can see the light passing through it. It's got some bubbles stick around it. The head is sticking around very nicely. Okay. Um, to inspire brewing. Bells, cheers. That 
is amazing. So smooth. You can tell that it's uh, a double IPA. It's definitely got that piney, big flavor that you should enjoy if you enjoy double IPAs. The citrus is probably the second sort of flavor, and that's sort of like up front of the pine, and then the bitterness kind of grabs you with that piney note, and then the um, uh, citrus flavors from the Centennial Hops sticks around really long on the palate. Um, that is not going to disappoint you if you are a fan of double IPAs and a fan of um, Two Hearted. It has a strange sort of appearance in this IPA glass, almost as if it has two colors depending upon how what, what point you look at in the glass. This is more yellow and then it really turns kind of an orangey color there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. Um, I I really was hoping that when they released this stuff, it would be on my day off. Because I was going to make a trip down to Kalamazoo. Mind you, it's only an hour from me. But I was going to have that camp out for the release kind of experience. I still want to do that one day. And uh, was not able to do that with this. But still... Um, enjoying it very very much it's a really kind of unique flavors it kind of has a rolling surprise of the pineiness and then that kind of dissipates a little bit but what's really unique about this beer is it hangs around on your tongue and on your palate for a long time. Um, I'm enjoying this one. Um, I don't know if I enjoyed this one as much as my very first two-hearted, just a plain two-hearted. My very first just plain two-hearted, I was like, oh my goodness, this is fantastic beer. What is this? That was probably my segue beer into IPAs and into the rest of the craft beers world for uh, double IPAs and hazies and whatnot. But I got to tell you, uh, if you can get your hands on this stuff, it's well worth a try. It was like um, $17.90 for a six pack, so a little more than $3 for a, for a beer. Well worth it. 11%. Um, it's going to be sneaky. Oh, I did not mention that it feels like the alcohol content is really hidden very well, although a little bit warm when it hits the bottom. So it's not off-putting at all. You're not going to think, this is 11%? Really? And then it's gonna, you're going to feel it hit the bottom. So um, be careful. It's 11%. And it, is, will, it will light you up um, if you're not careful. I know it probably will be. I'm not going to be able to stop with one. So you think I'm going to drink just one of these today? I am going to drink maybe at least two, and then we'll see where we'll go from there. Anyway, hey, let's wrap this up. If you enjoy watching these beer reviews as much as I enjoy drinking the beer, click like, subscribe, check out some of my other content, and definitely give me a thumbs up or a comment. I appreciate the feedback. Um, so with that, cheers. Bells, keep inspiring brewing, and with that, we're going to wrap it up. Cheers. Bells, double two-hearted. Let's give that a thumbs up.